हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडे टॉपिक इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ मैफेनामिक एसिड दिस ड्रग बिलोंग्स टू द थेरापेटिक कैटेगरी ऑफ नॉन स्टेरॉयडल एंटी इंफ्लामेटरी ड्रग लेट्स लुक एट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड नाउ दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सी ओ ओ एच ग्रुप दैट इज कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड there is presence of a minor group of phenyl with two methyl groups so if you look at the name mefenamic acid you can guess presence of this particular structural features present over here the mefen stands for presence of methyl and phenyl the m stands for presence of a minor group IC acid stands for presence of this carboxylic acidic group according to this the nomenclature of mefenamic acid is this one once again for nomenclature we will number this basic nucleus present here which is a benzene ring attached with COOH group as i mentioned in my previous videos that as per the priority order cooh group is superior over the amino group so we will start the numbering from those carbon that is attached with the cooh group in this case the basic nucleus is benzoic acid so the numbering starts with this carbon which is attached with cooh so this is number 1 and this is number 2 so on to we have presence of this amino group which is substituted by a phenyl ring which in turn is substituted by two methyl groups at position number 2 and 3 so our nomenclature will be on to 2 3 dimethyl phenyl amino then the name of the basic nucleus benzoic acid let's move on to mechanism of action of this compound mefenamic acid is a very potent inhibitor of cox1 and cox2 enzyme that is cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 these enzymes are responsible for formation of the prostaglandins which are the mediator mediators of the pain responses so as cox1 and cox2 are inhibited the prostaglandin synthesis is inhibited and thus no inflammation takes place and thus we have the anti inflammatory action so beside this we have some other uses like mefenamic acid is used for treatment of moderate pain and some pain related with the menstrual cycle let's move on to the important part that is synthesis of mefenamic acid the synthesis starts with this starting material which is called as 2 bromo benzoic acid this is benzoic acid this is number 1 position this is number 2 on 2 we have a bromine so it is 2 bromo benzoic acid which react with potassium carbonate now this is very important reaction whereby this acid react with this potassium carbonate that is the potassium salt and is gets converted into its potassium salt that is potassium 2 bromo benzoate it is very important step let's move on to the next step this potassium brom 2 bromo benzoate then reacted with this compound which is called as 2 3 xylidine if you look at the structure on 2 and 3 we have the methyl and there is presence of this amino group so it is called as 2 3 xylidine otherwise if amino group is not there this is simply called as xylene now if you look at the product and this conversion you can easily guess that why we carry out this conversion if the treatment is with 2 3 xylidine this amino group attack on this carbon which bears the bromine and thus bring about the nucleophilic substitution reaction on this aromatic ring 
if this potassium salt is not there this amino group may attack on this carbon and thus bring about the nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction to give us the corresponding amide so to avoid the formation of amide the benzoic acid is first converted into its potassium salt so that this amino group will not attack on this carbon rather it will attack on this carbon to give the nucleophilic aryl substitution reaction so when the substitution takes place there is release of hbr molecule one of the hydrogen and this br will be removed out as hbr and thus we have formation or attachment of this group over here that is the nh along with this ring in the next step this potassium salt is reacted with hcl this is simply to remove this potassium from here that is to convert the potassium salt into its corresponding acidic form so when hcl is reacted with this potassium salt this cl reacted with potassium to form kcl which is removed out from here and this hydrogen will then goes on this oxygen to form the corresponding hydroxyl group with this we get the formation of our title compound mephenamic acid thanks for watching the video please like it share it and don't forget to subscribe thank you